Hi, I'm Branco. And I'm Riot. And uh, we're part of Buraca Son Sistema. We're, we're about to explain for you guys at Fact TV how our live setup works. It's very geeky. Uh, Branco has this amazing synthesizer called Novation Ultra Nova. Basically, I play the drums live. We just um, take some of the rhythmic elements from, from the original track so I can do something live. Our show is mostly about uh, layering things. There's, you know, there's drums already on, on the beat, uh, but then we like to add like perform drums just so it has like a live feel. And then there's also like a lot of leads and a lot of synths already playing on the backing track. I have drums. I have just a, a group with only drums, a group with like, like synths and stuff and then there's a group where I keep like some of the vocals and effects and stuff like that. I have a beat repeat on every on every one of these uh, group channels. So I can mess around with this. I also I can also mess around with with filters. just playing keyboard on top of everything. And a tablet. Oh yeah. <laughs> and a little iPad thingy with, uh, with some samplers. I especially like this one, because everyone, you know, every big American DJ now has CO2 on stage. We can't really afford that, so we have this. That's about it. <laughs> Should we try something with everything? Yeah, of course. Let's go. talk about the vocal part and all the activity that happens on all the rest of the stage I called Kalaf also from Buraca Son Sistema and uh, he's got a lovely story for you I guess we had two, uh, three vocalists um, Andrew uh, Blyer and me uh, and we basically uh, tried to bring the live and uh, carnival wild uh, atmosphere to the show. P people always ask, like, uh, you guys uh, seem to have fun on stage, like every time we we're performing. And it's true, we, we love the songs and we love uh, to see each other uh, dancing. If we have a bad show, you can see it. Like, you know, if we are not dancing, it means like uh, something's really wrong. It's always exciting to be in London uh, because it's a crowd that knows uh, music, knows dance music very well, and, then, and to bring something that they're not really used to have here is quite exciting because we bring a little bit of um, this worldwide feel. Uh, you know, we pick up things in South America, we pick up things in Africa, and we blend in and mix with stuff that, that you listen in UK. So it's always kind of a challenge to see how people react to that. Oh, yeah. 